let's open maybe I will open the last example file okay <coughs> let's get new one hmm. Um, so let's start with uh, linear keyframe. So this is a shape here. Uh, we have few shapes here, and uh, oh, this is supposed to be the blue one. This is going to be the green. This is going to be the red. to be the purple okay so uh, I have created few shapes I'm go I'm gonna come to sh creating shapes in after effects later on uh, but um, how to create keyframe I have shown you uh, last day which is basically let's say I am going to add a keyframe in the position value of this layer so I'm going to hit P uh, to expand the position then I'm going to create a keyframe and maybe at the end I'm going to create another keyframe and I'm going to move the mm, this thing like this the, the position of the layer now you can see the um, we are seeing the motion path here in the bottom of the, uh, in the middle of the composition that's because we have not set the um, just give me a second so uh, that's why uh, the motion path is showing here in the middle of the uh, composition we need to change the center of the or the anchor point of the layer at first so that's what I'm going to do this is called the pan behind tool the shortcut is Y so I'm going to select the middle point and I'm going to put it somewhere here and I'm going to do the same for the other layers too now I'm going to sorry I'm going to hit P for the fast keyframe I'm sorry uh, I'm going to create the fast keyframe and uh, the second keyframe here and uh, this is a linear animation okay let's let's uh, reduce the duration of the animation like this and I will reduce the entire length of the animation also uh, in of the composition so I'm, I will I'm just hit uh, a, N which is the st uh, end uh, work area shortcut and then I will uh, right click on it and select this option train comp to work area then it will cut the work area so uh, this is a linear animation and as I have told you uh, earlier that uh, all these little gap little dots those are the positions uh, in a particular frame and you can see the all those uh, dots are in an even position so that means there is no easing uh, going on here it's a linear interpolation and uh, at the same time we are going to look at uh, take a look at the graph editor this is a graph editor icon if you click here you can see um, if you select the parameter you can see the values this is by the way you are not seeing any changes be because this is uh, speed graph editor from there I am going to uh, change the values to um, a value graph editor and if I again select the position you can see the X position which is red and the Y that is green and you can see the X position uh, is gr uh, increasing gradually okay, in, an, in a linear fashion so uh, let's do the same thing for the next uh, all these uh, different shapes or different layers so I'm going to select I'm going to select uh, the this position value and if I select the position value you can see all the keyframes get selected because those are blue now now I'm going to copy them hit control C and I'm going to select all the three layers I'm going to hit control V and that will paste the 
uh, oh that that's not going to do the thing because the position is going to be same then uh, what i'm going to do i am going to copy the x value no that's not going to work either yes i can copy the x values because we don't need the y value y value is basically this is the up and down value so i'm going to copy the x value for this keyframe and i'm going to um, actually i can just simply now uh, hit p and create the first keyframe and at the end i can copy this value and uh, hof and i can hopefully i can paste it and no it's not gonna happen i have to select here and no, that's not gonna happen either so i have to copy the value manually and i can paste it and then oh this is the y value right so i'm going to copy and paste it here and do the same so now we have got the same animation for all the uh, all the layers now we are going to add a um, add some interpolations like speed in speed out and to do that a uh, couple of options we have like uh, if we select this keyframe by the way uh, when we have linear keyframe then we see this kind of diamond shaped keyframe and if i uh, right click on it then we can go to this option which is called keyframe assist from there we can choose either easy is in or easy is out or easy is that means easy is in means uh, actually let's turn on the graph editor and we can see now so if i select this keyframe and let's change it to um, easy is in and uh, in the graph editor you can see you can it's nothing have changed okay so i have to actually do the is easy is out because it's outside so if i do that you can see uh, the green ball is going to start slowly and gradually it's going to accelerate and match the end position so in the graph editor you can see uh, by then by uh, by now you guys are familiar with this concept you can see the graph this is curved uh, the values are not changing that much because we have uh, in in the beginning because we have added the is uh, is out and then it's uh, in a linear fashion it's uh, getting the acceleration and uh, the same thing uh, if i let's say if i go there and right click on it and go to keyframe assist and you can use the shortcut also i can use now the easy is uh, easy is in then it will go into it's going to accelerate at first and then gonna be slower at the end uh, so and you can see how the um, keyframes are uh, the shape of the keyframes are changing I mean uh, at the in point it's inverted of the diamond shape and at the end it's uh, the diamond shape uh, the you know triangle of the diamond shape so uh, there is another option which is called the easy is uh, only easy is the shortcut is f9 this one and by the way you can change the values uh, of, the, of the velocity of the keyframe manually uh, like if i select this keyframe and go to uh, keyframe velocity you can see that uh, by default it's using this 3.3333 something percent uh, as the easy uh, value so if i change it to let's cancel it and let's uh, change it to let's say 60 and the influence uh, 60 60 and then if i hit ok you can see uh, it's much more drastic than what it was last time so this is another way to change the value of the easy is in now it's going to be even slower at the start and uh, gonna accelerate at the end so uh, that is one way to do it i'm going to show you another way so uh, if you hit f9 you can see like i'm going to select both of the keyframes by selecting the position and now going to hit f9 and uh, which is this is is option and that will actually what is going to do is it's going to uh, add easing for both in point and out point and if i select the position you can see it's creating uh, a keyframe uh, in point here and out from here 
so now it's going to be slower um, where I have added, I've added in the blue one right so I'm not gonna do that I'm going to add it. the easy is in in the sorry F9 in the this purple one so um, it's slower at the start and at the end in the middle it's accelerating uh, so you know uh, to get more control over uh, the graph if you want to add m get more control over the gra graph then we can activate we can actually manipulate the graph editor uh, the graphs of the of different parameter so by n n actually now if you select the this keyframe so let's just select the keyframe and you can see few options for us that those the, that are enabled uh, which is the same thing easy is out easy is in we can do the same thing from here apart from using the shortcuts or the right click menu then we have something else which is called the auto bezier I'm, go I'm gonna come to this thing auto be which is what is auto bezier then this is the linear uh, interpolation so if I select both of the keyframes like this and if I hit here then again it's going to become linear keyframe and this is the toggle hold keyframe and that means a lot of the time you are gonna use it when you, when you are gonna do some animation this is basically uh, do a you know create a hold keyframe and suddenly it's gonna appear to the next position and hold keyframe looks like this uh, this actually and there is another way to do it which is basically if I select the select all the keyframes and right click then we have this option toggle hold keyframe and you can see and uh, it's suddenly going to appear at the end like this so uh, these are all the basic keyframes the linear keyframe the easy is in easy is out uh, which is the speed in and speed out and then the hold keyframe right so um, now how can we actually manipulate the graph to get more control over the um, over, over the interpolation let's say i want to make some drastic changes at the, uh, uh, in the in the middle and now how can i how can i modify the graph uh, for other values let's see what's going to happen let's say key f uh, for the scale if I create a keyframe for the scale uh, here so let's solo the layer and uh, if I create a keyframe and at the end I'm going to make it let's say uh, something like this bigger and if I select it and then uh, which one is it actually uh, this value and uh, you can see if I click on this icon then it's get activated and we can actually make uh, get this handles to you know change the interpolation so it's changing very fast and we can do you know this thing like if I change the value in the middle so in the middle it's going to be bigger and the end and you can see how smooth it is so this is how you can uh, change the values for uh, you know other than position values uh, you can change them uh, from here you can get the handles here once you do a little bit practice you will get familiar with the system and uh, but uh, there is an issue with the position you know uh, so if I go to so I'm just going to um, delete the keyframe like this and uh, let's go to the position if I go to the position and then select this value and click here we don't get any handles you can see we are not getting any handles so now one way to you know change it is to go to the keyframe velocity huh? and if I go to the velocity then we can as, a, as we have seen like if I make some kind of drastic change like 80 percent uh, we can make changes like this and sometimes believe me it is actually really helpful to do it like this manually by adding uh, this percentage uh, why I am saying that that's basically the way After Effects works I mean uh, there is two type of interpolations as I have uh, told you earlier when we are doing basic uh, keyframe animation for open tunes or maybe tune boom also and that is two type of uh, interpolations one is special interpolation 
which is basically the space based interpolation another is the temporal interpolation which is the time based interpolation in the graph editor we normally uh, deal with the time based interpolation and in the interface with the uh, we deal with the space based interpolation that means where in the uh, you know in our canvas that particular object is and how it is moving whether it is moving in a, in a sharp path or a, uh, in a curved path so that is called the spatial spatial interpolation now you can see before coming to the handle issue i'm just showing you that um, we have two keyframes right so one is here and another is there so if i select on a particular keyframe you can see another dot appears there that is basically actually the handle so that means it's a linear uh, the line is uh, it's a linear line right so if i select this handle and you can move it and make it a curved line and this is basically sh uh, um, curved uh, i mean space based uh, spatial interpolation and you can see accordingly the path motion path also get change so um, that's what you can do when you you you, you are working in a special interpolation uh, you know what do i call mode and right now we are in that so that's why you are not getting any handles for uh, the you know temporal interpolation thing the speed in speed out thing and if i activate that there is a way to activate that then you are going to lose the spatial interpolation values now if you want this kind of handles to make curve for your animation let's say i am going to change the end here and i am going to make something like this and uh, i want this kind of animation and that i can do uh, you can create a very smooth path like this now let's hit control z and go to the temporal interpolation and to man, uh, you know to manipulate and another thing is if i do this and then if i add keyframe velocity right click and go to keyframe velocity and i'm going to make it you can see it's showing for both of the in point and out point but we don't need the in point because there is nothing uh, here at this beginning of the animation so i'm going to make it let's say 70 and here also i'm going to make it let's say 70 uh it's not happening because the inflation is uh, influence is quite high so let's make it something like 50 and uh, for this thing also actually for this keyframe also i'm going to make it 50 i'm doing it with the right uh, one right so then you can see it's actually the speed in speed out thing is actually working and uh, let's do it even more again 80 and here also i'm going to make it 80 and that already have been done i don't know why let's okay okay uh, so this is one way to do it now i'm going to show how you can get all the, those handles so actually let's con hit ctrl z to get the linear animation and let's make it let's move all these keyframes here mm. so um now if we uh, go to the graph editor again and uh, if you select the position then you can see you can see this uh, we have this icon which is called separate dimensions so we can separate actually all uh, this x and y dimension if we click here then you can see certain changes are happening first thing which is x and y became two separate parameter okay and here all the interpolation informations are gone now we have these handles but the curve is uh, showing differently from what we had last year uh, last time uh, and uh, now we can actually get those handles and we can manipulate them but another thing actually happened here which is there is no handles here to manipulate the spatial interpolation we can change the path like this but you can see it's kind of 
kind of weird thing is happening now we no longer have uh, the control over the spatial interpolation we have to do it from here entirely and i'm showing i'm going to show you how we can do it so now manually i'm going to change the values i'm going to and uh, now we have the is in is out like this uh, like you can do in other other animation uh, softwares so uh, the thing is um, now let's say we need to have some you know uh, okay another thing to move uh, to go to that thing how we can change the position of our any of an animation in this scenario uh, let's see how you can add um, another keyframe so if we go there and uh, actually if we hit on this icon let's see what else we have over here the options mainly so if i hit on this icon then it will actually if i select this any let's say x and y position and if we click here it's supposed to work but it's not uh, So there is no option for creating keyframes like this but we can always key create keyframe from here so if we do that we get another keyframe and uh, we get these handles which is matching the path the, the way it was and um, there is another option which is called the easy uh, which is called uh, this one auto bezier and what it does is it actually if you create a auto bezier it actually create a smooth keyframe for you and what is the difference uh, you can see the icon in for auto bezier is this kind of round icon and we can get the same thing and another thing is actually if i click uh, if you uh, press control and click on a keyframe you can toggle between all these different keyframe uh, interpolation the first one is linear second is auto bezier which is the round one third and uh, you, you cannot actually create uh, for to create or uh, easy is you have to uh, hit f9 so i'm going to create auto bezier again and you can see the change what is the change happening here it's actually slowing down but this is not the right example i'm going to show you another right example but if i hit f9 to get easy is in and out then it's gonna actually slow uh, slow down the entire animation to zero speed and then next slide again but if we create auto bezier i'm going to control click here then what happens is it creates a smooth motion between these two uh, between this uh, you know in this keyframe so the difference between those two things is um, so let's say that uh, okay, so let's delete all these keyframes uh, actually let's go to another example um, um, so if we create another keyframe here you can see we haven't turned on the um, uh, we haven't separated the x and y position that's why you have the uh, this value here which is called uh, a special interpolation thing working here so um, if i create uh, if i select this um, pen tool and we can also create a keyframe like this and then we get the handles and we can actually so i'm not gonna if i create you can create a keyframe like this and you can select the selection tool and you can move the position like this and we get this kind of curved path and uh, and uh, if we select the selection tool this tool again and we can actually break those handles okay ha huh. break karne ke baad nahi wo broken hi rahega break kar diya then ye broken rahega then to me uh, to get the smooth handles again you have to click here once Uh, click and move actually and then you get the smoother handle again 
so um, the the thing I was showing which is the difference between this kind of round keyframe which is the auto bezier and this kind of uh, how easy is it looking like a uh, sand watch type of thing which is the difference between these two is whether I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to create a perfect example but I'm going to give you a demonstration so if I create another keyframe here so let's move this object and it will create a keyframe for us and uh, if I go there and if we create easy is it so I'm going to hit F9 again and it's supposed to stop the thing entirely and then it's gonna move but if we create uh, auto bezier then it's going to create a smooth interpolation it's not right uh, example because the dimension are not separated basically what is going to happen is so let's separate the dimension again and uh, if we create easy is in which is the f9 thing it's actually flatten uh, the entire thing so i'm going to do the same for both of the x and y and it actually stops the uh, the shape there but if i make it easy is then it creates a smoother transition you can see last time it was like this so it it, it makes flat uh, curves like this uh, flat uh, handles like this but if we turn on auto bezier it actually try to match with the flow of the curve so obviously we can change it manipulate it to get much more smoother result so but uh, actually that's what it does for us hmm. so this is the difference between auto bezier and uh, uh, easy ease and another thing is uh, in this case when you turn separate the dimensions what you can do let's unsolo this one and solo this one and what you can do let's say we need to do something like a ball bouncing type of thing then uh, but we want to separate uh, the dimensions. so in this case I'm not going to separate the dimensions. so what I can do is I can create a keyframe actually let at first uh, go back to the linear animation and uh, here I'm going to create a keyframe. Let's move the entire thing. Uh, so I'm going to change the position somewhere here. And I'm going to copy this value, and uh, at the end, I'm going to paste it again. And now let's say I want the first drop to be somewhere here. So I'm going to create a new keyframe. The second drop should be somewhere uh, here. So I'm going to create another keyframe. Uh, no, and uh, I'm going to create that hard keyframe here. And now what I can do is simply uh, go to this pen tool, and uh, and I can just create a motion path like this. Oh, sorry, I'm going to hit Alt. And the motion path like this hit alt okay So now we are getting this kind of uh, motion, but there, there is no you know speed information like is in is out. There, that information is not there. So that is not going to work for that. For that to happen, uh, we have to add velocities from here. So I'm going to add something like uh, the speed is quite high, but I'm going to add something like 50 percent but we have to change the velocity again and the speed should be uh, zero and hopefully uh, so this is not the right way obviously and uh, you can see i mean the keyframe distribution also not good uh, the right so i have to change the entire thing like this and i have to create again uh, the keyframe here again so i'm just going to hit f9 to get a quicker result 
Oh, I have to. No, it's doing the opposite thing if I create keyframe. So I'm going to make 50 and here 50. So I'm just want to make this point that this is not the right way to do it if I want to uh, want to get this kind of animation here and then what we can do in this type of scenario i know this is a little bit uh, too much technical stuff uh, uh, altogether but uh, just let me show you the process uh, the simple simple little bit tricks and little bit things later on uh, you are going to start with basic very basic thing um, so what we can do in this type of things just go to uh, X and Y position and I'm going to make separate dimension and uh, what we can do again can we can create some keyframes and one here and here and and I'm going to create another keyframe here and I'm going to move this value like this here I'm going to create another keyframe and I'm going to move this value and here I'm going to create another move this Y value again now from here I can create this kind of sharp edges I'm just holding alt and breaking the handles again I'm going to hit alt and break the handle same thing here too so this is not a per perfect thing but just for the demonstration now we have the same thing but we are going there and here what happened Achha, this thing should be some like this and this thing should be like this for the x value we don't need any kind of changes but this one is working as uh, the the speed value because this is the x value the left and right value so let's see what happen if we make it okay okay no we don't need to mess it up so I'm going to select the entire y value uh, sorry x value and um, I can make it linear actually what I can do I can delete only uh, the keyframes for the y value so because so I'm going to delete this one and this one and this one so this is not the and again uh, we have to polish it uh, we can ch make the changes from here and another way to do this is basically the interpolation and uh, I'm going to show you another interesting thing which is the motion sketch um, and the basic uh, navigation for uh, this thing is you can just hit if you select a value and you can hit this icon if it is not fit in your window it will fit and that's actually we are doing the entire animation with this thing so another thing is let's create motion sketch for that I hopefully have another
so let's create a new um, sorry let's create a new file like this huh hmm t break hobe 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 um so let's create a shape like this and there is this option which is called uh, motion sketch now if i select the object and let's move the center point to the somewhere in the object center and uh, if i select uh, if i go to this option start start capturing and if i create a shape with my mouse or pen whatever it is like this okay one minute it's saving automatically uh, not responding actually premiere is working at the behind uh, no again capture uh, start capturing just do one things uh, start capturing and create make a shape like this and you can see it's actually capturing the path so this is quite enough and you can see what happened is it have if i see, press u you can see in the position value it have created all the keyframes for you know it have captured the um, my movement the move gesture of the movement and created a path accordingly and now obviously it's not that interesting because there is a lot of jerk and now how can you refine it and the, all the keyframes are selected all, the, all of them are blue so uh, let's actually move it actually I want to make it a little bit can we turn can you can you what uh, coming to that coming to that coming to, I can uh, so yes 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 now we need to the first thing we need to do before the doing the uh, change of the face of the object and all the first thing we need to do is uh, there is a lot of keyframe and the, because of that it's uh, it's uh, too too much jerky so let's go to the window and there is a uh, window called smoother and from here i can select the tolerance uh, the path is already selected the spatial path and I can apply it and you can see one is quite low so I'm going to make it 10 and hit apply and you can see it is it have created a very smooth path for us so if I want much more um, smoother than this then all the keyframes are selected you can do it with multiple uh, you know for a particular selection of keyframes also but I'm going to apply it for the entire thing I can I'm going to hit again and I want this kind of smoother path and now uh, the thing is uh, I want another thing I want though the path is smooth uh, you can say the uh, the spatial interpolation is smooth but the temporal interpolation is not I mean the timing if you see the timing of the of this uh, keyframes is uh, completely random some keyframes have been created just one after each other and uh, obviously we don't want that in a smooth animation uh, but uh, so the distribution of the keyframes are not really that much even so uh, we need uh, a, an evenly distributed smooth uh, animation right so to do that what you can do so I'm going to select all the keyframes and hit right click and of course you can do the same thing with multiple selections uh, specific selection now we are going to hit we are going to right click and then this option which is called rove across time so if i click on that then what is going to happen? it is going to distribute all the keyframes automatically for you and then uh, it's actually much more smoother i don't know how much it's looking here but because of the weird movement that i have made but it is actually a, uh, a lot smoother so uh, to give you uh, another perfect example before coming to that orientation thing I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to just create another shape like this and I'm going to make a, a very simple animation um, so let's say that uh, the first position is here so the position I'm creating the first position here and maybe 
here the second position and the third position is here so obviously it's a far it's perfect example for uneven you know uh, keyframe distribution and we let's say we don't want that we want it to be a smooth curve so smooth um, you know temporal temporal interpolation to do that we can just select and right click and turn on row across time then it will actually do evenly distribute the keyframe like this for us so it can be multiple number with with multiple number of keyframes so here it might be somewhere here and maybe something here so again it's we can distribute the time you can select all the keyframes right click and row across time now you can see okay it's actually distributing all the keyframes so let's delete it and coming back to this example how can we uh, change the face of the animation uh, so the the uh, the shape with the path of the um, you know this uh, this layer so to do that uh, first thing comes to our mind is go to the rotation and like this go to the rotation and face it like this create a create a keyframe come here and do another thing like this but we don't need to do it uh, what we can what we need to do is right click or go to the file menu uh, sorry layer menu uh, and there is this option uh, okay there is not so go to the layer and uh, why is this auto orient option okay I go to layer and transform and then you have auto orient the shortcut is alt control o and if you do that uh, orient alone path select orient alone path and then hit ok and it will automatically orient the path for you and wo to jo log program kiya wo logo ko pata hai and and another thing is uh, for this kind of stuff another very important crucial thing which we are actually uh, <laughs> um, that uh, we need to do for this kind of shape animation or whatever it is uh, which is motion blur without motion blur it is actually very unrealistic we can see all the sharp edges when it is moving in real world we don't see that and uh, so to we need to turn on motion blur another thing is we, we are seeing all this motion pass like right so we may, uh, maybe you don't need to see all of them so to hide them hit shift control h then all the unnecessary thing though you have selected the layers the all, all the uh, you know selection thing as not are not showing so i want to add some motion blur in it and that option is in the composition settings so it varies uh, depends on the composition setting different different composition settings you can have different motion blur option so go to the advanced option and from there you can see uh, this motion blur actually okay this is the settings by default it's the shutter angle is 180 degree you can change it but at first uh, turn on the motion blur and how to do it you can turn on motion blur for an entire uh, composition or a specific footage let's say you have multiple number of footage but you don't need to turn on motion blur for all of them because it's actually slows down your computer uh, your, your machine may you may have the uh, objects that are static but you if you turn on motion blur this is a motion blur option for them then it's gonna slow down so turn on motion blur for a specific object which is where the motion blur is required uh, like this one but it's not showing anything right because motion blur for the entire composition is not turned on yet so let's do that if you go to this icon if you turn it on then it will gonna enable motion blur for you and you can see then we have motion blur but when is go it's gonna slow down uh, there is too much motion in this example so um, let's you know hit U and for the first keyframe and the last keyframe I'm gonna hit F9 so at the end it is going to be slower so if I do that now there is some hold here you can see it slows down perfectly and another thing is how to change the shutter angle of motion blur in case we need some drastic uh, amount of motion blur in it so go to, go to composition settings and advance and from there we can change the shutter angle and it's gonna add more much more you know 
unrealistic amount of shutter angle and you can see you can see the number of sample we have which is the 60 number of motion blur as we are increasing the shutter angle uh, we can see those um, things uh, 16 of the uh, instances uh, properly so for that I can change it I can um, make the amounts uh, to 30 or something else but it's gonna eventually slow down your machine so you can use the motion bar as an effect like this by changing but remember but if you add uh, motion blur to another object also that will follow the same shutter angle value so you may not wanna uh, do this for all the layers you have so it's basically it's, uh, that's why it's safe to work in the default value which is 180 degree shutter angle and uh, 16 uh, samples per frame and if we want to add much more motion blur you can add motion blur as an effect i'm going to come to that later on which when we are going to discuss effect so this is basically motion blur and motion sketch and uh, all the basic uh, interpolation thing now i want you guys to do a little bit practice on easing and uh, actually let's let's cover the text thing because next day uh, I want you to spend the entire two hour to do a t title animation or text animation. Okay, so um, for the text, let's see what options we have. So let's read this thing and. Huh. Bolo. Obstruct? Offset. Kaisa offset? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nay, automatically karoge to nay yoga. Manual kana pray. Keys to tum automatic karne ke baad tum dal sakto. Par wo orientation automatically yoga. Hamesha path ko face karega aisa karke. So for the text animation we have all the basic thing uh, you can create a text like this you get you can select all and you can change the fonts from here you can uh, let's move this thing uh, you can change the color you can change color for outlines so very basic thing so I'm going to create black outline I'm going to add some thickness in the outline and uh, where is the outline thing I can do that okay. basically uh, this is so all the basic options are there outline option I have to see where it is uh, for the shape there is a outline option and the thickness of the outline option uh, this one uh, and uh, so these are very basic options the i mean the up and down and all this thing then the paragraph options are there so i'm not going to discuss that now what i'm going to discuss is uh, when you create a text you get some parameter like this path and all this thing the source you can you can add all these different you know uh, properties on it let's say skew okay uh, you can turn on and off them you can add, uh, after the animation you can add uh, you know from here you can add opacity you can add scale you can all this very basic thing you can add but at the same time you can do it from the uh, actual transformation properties of the layer basically i only thing i use from here is the scaling uh, is the is the skewing because the skewing option is not there in the basic transformation and mm, there is not a lot of thing to say but one thing huh stroke kam aata hai but uh, then again us wo ha uh, to wo yahan pe mil jayega stroke color you can may change it to in rgb stroke stroke width you can change the stroke width from here if you want 
and then uh, with this thing you can actually create very basic animation like this so I'm going to create uh, I'm going to hit P and first keyframe should be here and let's say here no after one second it will appear here and uh, uh, in the graph editor I'm going to go there and I'm going to turn on the spatial interpolation so I'm going to uh, the X I Z I'm going to separate them and I'm going to change the okay select this keyframe and I'm going to move it like this so that means just gonna look like okay. so it's gonna look like this so let's make it a little bit faster so let's move it here and <coughs> now I'm going to add some maybe skewing uh, so go to the text option and uh, I'm going to add skew and I'm going to add fast and you fast keyframe here the skew angle is basically I'm going to showing you so I'm going to add a little bit skewing and if you change the angle it's going to look like this so it's just the direction of the skewiness and okay and <coughs> I'm just going to create another keyframe in the default value and I'm, I can do the same thing uh, then you know this is the skew option and I can just do the I can get the handle like this and I can increase it like this then actually it's too much so let's zoom in and I need a little bit of follow through okay it's not working so let's come here and add Ashashomai Jhugbe Na, dharo eta shoja aash chhe, baser moto and then ok, eta sheshe hao bhe actually ekhane Actually, let's let's delete this keyframe. Just turn on this one. Uh, zero to ekhane arakta. Let's create a keyframe for. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit skewing here. But there is a jerk. position to shut it I have watch it so let's change this thing for the position not a simple f9 then change this position okay this thing so uh, this is a very transformation very basic transformation animation and let's turn on the motion blur So next day we are going to do this kind of uh, text animation. Okay, this is the first exercise of um, After Effects. And anything, okay. Another thing is very important thing. 
uh, that might be very helpful for you guys which is uh, so um, uh, all the presets that we have so let's delete this one and the animation from this thing and let's reset let's everything everything and then if we go to the effects and if we turn on the animation presets from there we have text and there is a huge library of you know animation presets we can just drag and drop on uh, one of them so if we hit you you can see there is only two keyframes but with those two keyframes what is going to happen is okay it's gonna do the animation for you and uh, there is a lot of very useful ones also you can actually manipulate all of them ah. so this is a very simple thing uh, and let's go to animate in from there choose this one okay uh, another thing what you have to remember is you have the time indicator should be at the start of the composition because the first keyframe is going to key create from here hmm. why is it not working hmm. and uh, to see all of the key uh, basic uh, uh, presets, uh, keyframe, uh, animation presets. Oh, in the f best thing to do is to go to Bridge, Adobe Bridge, and from there, let's open Adobe Bridge. And I have already opened it. The directory is uh, program file, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CC, support uh, support files, presets, text. From there. We have all the text animation, track related text related animation. If we go to each and every file, then a preview will appear here. Uh, I don't know why is it not. So you can see the preview before applying those animations. All you have to do is just drag and drop. And even after applying those keyframes, uh, those presets, you can manipulate them. and uh, ha huh. jo options maine dikha hai na special option wo jo hai text layer ke liye jo matrix so कुछ क्यों नहीं हुआ ठीक है ठीक है, so do check them out. And uh, this is basically it for uh, this session. Basic uh, animation interpolation. So uh, you can do a animation uh, text animation and uh, right now in After Effects. Uh, so do a little bit practice. Okay. Next day.